solving proportions. They asked us to solve for i, and we have 4 over i is equal to 1 over 3. Okay, so to solve our proportion, we want to cross multiply, and that's going to give us an equation we can use to solve for our variable. So remember, cross multiply means we're going to multiply the numbers across from each other. Now, if you think about this, this should make sense because when we were checking to see if ratios were in proportion, remember we cross multiplied, and if we got the same number, we knew they were in proportion or equal to each other. In this case, they're telling us they're equal to each other, so we know if they cross multiply, they should be equal to the same thing. Okay, so let's take a look. 4 times 3, right, they're across from each other, so we're going to cross multiply 4 times 3. That gives us 12. When we cross multiply on the other side, 1 times i is 1i. But remember, 1i is the same thing as just i, right? Multiplying by 1 doesn't do anything. So i is equal to 12. Now, if you wanted to check this, you could say 4 over 12, is it equal to 1 third? And yeah, 4 is a third of 12. 10 over u is equal to 2 over 3. We want to solve for u. Okay, so we're going to cross multiply and solve for u. So if we cross multiply on this side, 10 times 3 gives us 30. And we're going to set that equal to u times 2, which is 2u. Now we want to get u by itself. Right now it's being multiplied by 2, so our opposite or inverse would be to divide by 2. Well, 30 divided by 2 gives me 15, and 2u divided by 2 gives us u, right? Multiply and divide by the same number cancels out. So u equals 15. Solve for w, and we have 10 over w equals 5 over 6. Okay, well, we're going to cross multiply. 10 times 6 gives us 60, and w times 5 gives us 5w. And now we want to solve for w. Since w is being multiplied by 5, right, next to means multiplication, our opposite or inverse is to divide by 5. Okay, and then 60 divided by 5 gives me 12. And on this side, multiply and divide by the same number cancels out and leaves me with W. So 12 is equal to W. Okay, solve for B, and we have 4 fifths is equal to 12 over B. Well, if we cross multiply, 4 times B gives us 4B. And 5 times 12 gives us 60. To solve for b, I'm going to divide by 4. And that gives me 15, right? 60 divided by 4, 15. Solve for O. 5 over 7 equals 10 over O. Okay, so we're going to cross multiply 5 times O. And be really careful, I'm going to write this little so we know it's not a 0, it's an O. And 7 times 10 gives us 70. Okay, to get O by itself, we're going to divide by 5 on both sides. And 70 divided by 5 gives us 14. So O equals 14. Solve for B. 2 over 3 equals 10 over B. Okay, well let's cross multiply. 2 times B equals 2B. And 3 times 10 equals 30. To get B by itself, we're going to divide by 2.
On the left, that cancels out, leaving us with B. And on the right, 30 divided by 2 is 15. Solve for y. 2 over 3 is equal to 10 over y. So let's cross multiply. 2 times y gives us 2y. 3 times 10 gives us 30. Since y is being multiplied by 2, our opposite or inverse is to divide by 2. Okay, when I cancel out those opposites, it leaves me with y, and 30 divided by 2 is 15. So y equals 15.